section of Idaho. I think it's the Locha, L-O-C-T-C-H-A River. Um, and I think that forms one of the boundaries of the Bitterroot Selway uh, Wilderness, which that and the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness represent the largest wilderness in the lower 48 uh, states, I believe. And it is really spectacular, beautiful river. The road kind of flows right along the river here. It's probably a hundred plus mile corridor. Uh, it's kind of slow, the water is right here, uh, but it's been rapids most of the way. And the forest is pretty consistent. It's a uh, pretty, pretty lush forest. Water's really clear though, it's really cold. We got in it yesterday for a while and it, uh, it was definitely pretty cold. You can see it's kind of picking back up into uh, into rapids there, if you're able to see. Um, but a really nice section of Idaho kind of just reminds me of what I would picture in my mind as, uh, as Idaho, for sure. Interesting rock formation here coming up on Lewiston, Idaho. Just down the road from Lewiston, Idaho is Clarkston, Idaho. Named after Lewis and Clark who came down this river um, on their journey to the Pacific. Uh, but cool, uh, cool geological formation there, geograph yeah, geological. Alright, we crossed out of Idaho into far southeastern Washington here for just a short uh, a short bit before we drop into Oregon. And uh, the landscape basically immediately changed as we popped into uh, Washington. We're in Anatone, A-N-A-T-O-N-E, Washington. Um, and we went into just like this high plains kind of environment as soon as we crossed the river. From Idaho into Washington, uh, it's a very distinct difference between uh, between the two. So, and I've never been to this section of Washington before. We're definitely coming down from the high plain now. We got twisty, windy, uh, but still very dry, which is kind of the way I remember Eastern Washington last time my brother and I came through the. Uh, the Cascades is that this side of the Cascades was very, very dry. I guess you'd call it the rain shadow. Uh, it's real pretty. Seems much more like mountain lion territory though, the grid than grizzly bear territory to me. foothills kind of look.
just crossed over into Oregon. It basically looks just like Washington so far. All right, we've made it into uh, Eastern Oregon here. Caught up with Steve. Hey, Steve. Here we are. Here's your debut on BigSexyBeast.com. And uh, we're doing pizzas for dinner tonight. We've got um, mushroom, black olive, uh, steak, cheese, and tomato pizza. Two different types of cheese. The thing we're missing is minced garlic, but uh, we'll have to remedy that next time we're at the grocery store. And there's Scout. He doesn't care. <laughs> All right, so we finished up a couple pizzas. They turned out really well. We got a little bit of a fire going here, and I think we are going to attempt to play Uno. See how that works out for us. And put some more wood on the fire. Johnny's got his nest all snuggly and cozy here waiting for him to scout to get in.